Hey everyone, welcome back. Ready to dive into something uh, pretty intense. Always. All right, so today we're looking at Netflix's new thriller, Zero Day. It premieres right after the 2025 presidential inauguration. Oh, wow, talk about timing. Right. It stars Robert De Niro, and it's all about cyber attacks, political intrigue, you know, that whole world. I've heard about this, yeah. This is going to be more than just a show, though, I think. It's going to make us all think about leadership and truth, especially in our digital world. Definitely. I mean, the timing really couldn't be more relevant. You know, it feels like we're all living with this sort of underlying anxiety about, well, about just how connected we are. Yeah. I mean, everything's online these days. Power grids, finances, communication, and it's all vulnerable. Exactly. And the show really digs into what happens when all that, when those systems fail, what happens to us? Yeah. It's like, what happens to society and to, uh, to like the political landscape? The yeah. show explores all that all that chaos and maneuvering, it's scary because it feels so possible, you know? It does, and the creators actually went all out to make it feel even more realistic. They mm -hmm. talked to people in Washington, you know, real insiders. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. And they even got Michael S. Schmidt, that investigative journalist, yeah. to help out. But uh, what I found really amazing was Robert De Niro, how he got ready for this role. He plays former President George Mullen. Oh, interesting. He actually talked to, like, former CIA people from the Cold War. To really yeah. get into the mindset, like someone who's dealt with secrets and deception at that level, I think that says a lot about how deep this show is going to go. That's pretty intense preparation. It seems like Zero Day isn't just looking outward at threats, but also inward at what leadership does to a person. Exactly. Can you imagine making those decisions during a cyber attack like that, that pressure, mm -hmm. trying to tell truth from lies? The show seems like it'll explore all of that. It does. And what makes that struggle even more, well, more intense, is the show's main theme, that truth is really fragile, especially with all the media and narratives flying around. We're constantly bombarded with information. Exactly. It's like, how do you even know what's real anymore? Mm. And that's what the show reflects, that struggle to figure out what to believe and who to trust. Right, which sources to trust. I think it holds up a mirror, you know, to our own lives makes mm. us think about how we form our own beliefs. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the cyber attack. It's about what happens to truth itself. It's a really important theme, I think, especially now, yep. especially with all the disinformation campaigns and everything. What happens to society then? Right. It's a big question. And right at the center of all this is De Niro as President Mullen. He gets pulled back into this whole world to lead the investigation into the attack. Hmm. It's interesting how De Niro describes this character. He, he says Mullen is, well, like a classic anti-hero, someone who believes in truth, but you know, is also willing to work in the shadows to get things done. Yeah, there are compromises. Right? Exactly. Bend the rules, maybe even his morals, if he thinks it's for the greater good. It makes you think about what it really takes to lead, especially during something like this. For sure. And that idea, that complexity, it's everywhere in the show. Like how it portrays power itself. Mm -hmm. Zero Day doesn't shy away from showing how messy it all is, how political decisions get made. All the different players, all the relationships. And the show goes beyond just politics too, right? It touches on the media, on espionage. Yeah, everyone has their own angle, their own secrets. Oh, and the cast they got for this is amazing. Just think about it. Angela Bassett is the president dealing with this whole thing. Lizzie Kaplan is Mullen's daughter, maybe caught in the middle of it all. Wow, yeah. And then you've got Jesse Plemons, Joan Allen, Connie Britton, even Dan Stevens. It's like a powerhouse cast. It really is. Makes you think they're going to explore these characters deeply. All those moral gray areas. Definitely. And with all that going on, the personal struggles, the political maneuvering, the show throws out this big question. Can we come together during a crisis like this? Or do we just fall apart? That's a question for our time, isn't it? It really is. We see so much division and mistrust. It makes you wonder how we'd actually react if something like this happened. If this were real, would we lean into our differences or find ways to connect? Yeah. Zero Day gives us this fictional scenario, this extreme situation, but it forces us to confront those choices, the ones we might actually have to make someday. Right. The choices we're already making, maybe on a smaller scale. Yeah. Who do we believe? What do we trust? Exactly. And what are the consequences? It really gets you thinking even after it's over. Zero Day doesn't try to give us like easy answers. No, not at all. But it makes us ask the important questions, the hard ones. And I think it reminds us, especially now, how important it is to be aware, to think critically. We can't just take everything at face value anymore. Right. We have to be more discerning, filter through all that noise, and yeah, hold those in power accountable too. Exactly. And I think even more than that, 
it makes you think about what kind of future we're building. Mm -hmm. If zero day really happened, how would we react with fear? Or would we use it as a chance to, I don't know, come together and rebuild, make things more resilient? Yeah, it's like a test of our values almost. It is. Zero day isn't just uh, showing us a potential crisis. It's asking us to think about who we are, what we stand for. It shows us the power of, well, collective action, I guess. It really does. Mm -hmm. So as we wrap up here, I just want to say, when you watch Zero Day, remember, it's not just entertainment. It's like a reflection of us, the choices we make, the world we create. Well said. It's a powerful message and definitely something to keep in mind. Definitely. Thanks for diving into this with me. It's been a great conversation. Of course. Always a pleasure. And to everyone listening, thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We'll catch you next time.